Massey Ferguson 35 grinds whenever it's shifted into engine PTO. So we're going to try to adjust the free play on its double clutch. Now this tractor is equipped with a double clutch, meaning that when you press it, the clutch down part way, it cuts the power to the rear wheels. And then when depressed fully, it is supposed to, at that point, cut the power to the PTO. Today we're adjusting the clutch pedal free play, which is the amount the clutch pedal moves before it starts to engage anything, or I guess it, a better way to say it is, is the amount the pedal moves before you can feel it uh, have any resistance. I'm just taking a tape measure here and putting it on the floorboard and we're going to see how much free play this actually has. Now we, a properly adjusted pedal should have somewhere in the neighborhood of three eighths of an inch. And it looks like we have an inch and a quarter. Let's see here. We're at about six there. Drops us down to four and three quarters. So yeah, that's an inch and a quarter of free play when I should only be seeing about three eighths. So let's see if we can adjust that up. To adjust this, first thing we need to do is loosen this bolt right there at the, uh, this is where the clutch pedal connects. And we just loosen this one up just enough to release the tension that's on uh, this part of the assembly. So this is 11 sixteenths. You know, we don't have to go crazy loose with this or anything, just enough that we'll be able to move it there in the inside. So now I just take a cheap screwdriver and I stick it down through the hole at the top. To tighten it, I'm going to move this clockwise. And I'll just tell you from experience that small movements mean big changes in pedal travel. So I'm not gonna have to turn this thing very far. I'm gonna kinda hold the pedal and then try to turn this clockwise. I've got it tightened up quite a bit now. And let's see where we sit. So right at about six inches there. And now I've only got about an eighth of an inch of free play. So that is too little. So now we will readjust it again. And because that was too little, we will go counterclockwise to fix it. Moving this a little bit counterclockwise there. And then we'll tighten it back up. So we're starting off right there at about six. And then now it's bringing me down to about a, a half inch but that's pretty close to five eighths it's a massive improvement i'm gonna go ahead and stop there with this pedal adjustment and see if this corrects my problem so now i just tighten it on up the rest of the way good and tight so that it doesn't loosen up when i'm out there working this pedal Hey, if this little video helped you, please help my little family by clicking that subscribe button. I appreciate you.